King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong. I'm not sure if you guys know, but there is a ongoing issue in the community with trying to figure out what pro play technology is. Now, I gave my thoughts on what pro play technology could be and um a few creators that i was speaking with in vegas about it actually was like yo that shit might be the realest oh that shit might be true and i'll i'll share that with y'all but please do not clip this shit and make this into some type of video that everybody blows up and, and say that ipod said it's gonna be this so this is what it's gonna be please don't do that disclaimer motherfucker don't do it <laughs> all right so boom what i think pro play technology actually is going to be i believe that i think it's going to be clips of in real life shit just meshed into shit that we do for instance imagine the mamba moment being a kobe fade away for a game winner right what if when you're going into that fade animation which has been scanned mo capped and everything like that and it is a older game in which this game has been played before when you do this move it just turns into a real life clip and you just have to control it while it's in that real life clip for instance a green you have to just control it because it's just it just transitions into a real life clip i'm not saying that all gameplay will stop what i'm saying is in certain moments i think that it will look real on the court like you're really at the game but i think it'll only let you move certain movements that are authentic to that clip whereas though you can't just fucking run to the corner run to the top spam for the basketball and get the ball i think that you just have to actually play that authentic clip out the entire time and only play, press a certain amount of buttons what i mean by that is we've all played spider-man before there's certain things that you have to do in a game that you have to press a button and the clip automatically just goes every single time you cannot deviate from that that's what i think pro play technology is going to be if it's something different then i can't wait to see what it's going to be but from my gaming experience i don't know what 2k could go to from that because we also seen a reel of a spider with his hand in some type of fish bowl or something like that and he was talking about like some pro play technology and stuff like that now what i'm what what i've seen in that clip is i thought you know what fuck it 2 may 2k might be up in a vr this year maybe the pro play technology is something whereas though when you in vr yeah maybe you're not running and stuff like that but maybe you clicking the buttons and maybe it's something with the vr hand grip and all that with the with the paddles and shit that you got to do that incorporates the pro play technology i also thought about that at bed before before i closed my eyes it's a whole bunch of shit but it's all speculation until 2k dropped the news on the shit we don't know what it is now i do have some dates august motherfucker that's when 2k said they're gonna drop it don't shoot me my hands is up don't shoot the messenger bro 2k said yo august we gonna drop the pro play technology shit for y'all so we won't know until august we either gonna know in two weeks we either gonna know in three weeks or if fuck around it'll be a whole month until this shit come out in mid-august we don't know so don't beat me up bro expecting too much 2k only does the least damn yeah in online gameplay though breezy no nah, i don't think it'll be i don't think it'll be online gameplay i don't think i don't think it'll i don't think it'll be that that but that's just coming from me somebody who has played games for as long as i have when it come to online gaming bro like every person has to have all control of their players no matter what game you play in an online setting i don't think 2k would put us inside of some scripted shit where we can only press one or two buttons but we just have to watch the actions play out on in an online experience i don't think that's even fucking real i don't think that's even fair to the gamer 
I think that this shit will probably be offline, probably be some my career shit, probably be some Mamba moment shit, probably be some motherfucking my eras type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. Not no like, oh, going to my team and then like Paul Pierce is gonna have to hit this midi or dunk on somebody or you know what I mean? Or this fall away shot in order to win the game every single game to incorporate pro play technology. No, I don't think it's gonna be that, bro. I don't think it's gonna be an online setting. But again, disclaimer, motherfucker. We don't know until they drop the news. <laughs> oh, let me see. Uh, I mean NBA clips. The um, I thought pro play was just gameplay wise being more realistic and taken from actual 2K clips. I mean NBA clips. Sound fighter. That's what I said earlier. You know what I'm saying boom, boom, boom. Um, basically like quick time events. I would guess. You know what I'm saying what you talking about? It's already in WWE 2K. Hey, I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video, but I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped. And today I'm here to talk to you guys about their newest product, the Beard Hedger. This is the newest electric beard trimmer that hit the market. Now y'all already know, my beard gotta stay flawless. This is all I got left. So when it comes to taking care of my beard, the Beard Hedger has everything that I need. Not only does it have 20 different length settings, it's also waterproof and durable, which means I can clean it when I'm finished. Not only that, it got a wheel adjustment for the actual length of hair that you wanna cut. When it comes to having a beard, you got so many different ways that you want to cut it. So many people have so many different styles. I have my mustache that I might want to trim. I have my sideburns that I might want to trim. I might want to take a little bit off the bottom. It's a whole bunch of different things that I like to do to my beard. But when it comes to this beard trimmer, it's everything that I need. If you guys want to add this wireless premium beard trimmer to your collection, you guys can get 20% off today by using the code iPodKing at checkout at manscaped.com. I'm calling K-Sounds right now. Yo. Yo. What up? Okay, so for the people in the back, I want you to explain what what you mean by this shit is already in WWE 2K. What what are we talking about? Okay, so it's it's not online. It's, it's kind of like a moments that you play, mm -hmm. and uh, you relive in the moments of the past. So once you do a certain move, like a certain wrestling move, it'll mm -hmm. cut to the clip of of the highlight of the past. And then once that once that goes by, you see that the real life to go back to the game and you continue playing the game. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you like if you wrestling with uh Eddie Guerrero and uh you you relive one of his highlights by pressing a certain move off the top rope. It'll cut to that real life clip of him coming off the top rope. Then it'll go back to the game. Mm. And, and that's already in there. So that's why when you said it, I'm like, I can see that because I already see it in another game that they already make. Mm, so, 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 so you think we cracked the case? Yes or no? I think you might have cracked the case. Oh shit! I'm hey Chad. I might have cracked the motherfucking case wide open, bro. Hold on, Chad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I it's, think I might have cracked the motherfucking it's case open. It's still purely speculation, but yeah. it just sounds believable. It sounds like I've seen it. Yeah, and, and that's and that's and that's what I was saying. Like it's like, yo, we've been we've been playing games longer than a lot of these kids been alive. So like the right. things that we see when when it's moments to either relive or when it's actions that you have to take in certain games that literally have to happen but you can only control if you fail or win you know what i'm saying like in that moment that's what i can see you feel me like right. like for instance when we saw fucking uh god of war when he when we thought he died and the motherfucker brought his ass back Z you know what i'm saying zoo zapped his ass not nah, get up you ain't done you know what i'm right. saying type shit it's like these moments have to happen where you think like oh well if i don't press anything what's gonna happen or is it still gonna happen no it's gonna say you failed and probably restart you know what i'm saying but if you get the moment right like i said with a kobe fade or or a 360 or under the the under the baseline dunk like if you can control those moments as they happen and then you know what i'm saying as they happen and you just press square or you press x or triangle for block or something like that or you know what i'm saying maybe maybe it's like a a fucking loose ball still where you have to certain lunge at this this uh pass across court you know what i'm saying where to right. kobe tips and then goes on a fast break dunk you know what i'm saying like it's like those certain moments have to happen or the clip won't happen you know what i'm saying that's right. where that's where my mind goes with it at you know what i'm saying but again speculation King Kong. King Kong.
King Kong.